Hey, teachers. You've just introduced your new vocabulary words to your precious students, and now you want to make sure they remember them and know how to use them. So, I have two activities to do exactly that, and at the end of the video, I'd like to know which activity you might likely end up using. Let's go. Let's begin with using questions. On your new vocabulary list for today, let's say you have these words. So you introduce the meanings of the words in one way or another. And instead of asking them whether they understand or not, ask them open questions to find out indirectly, but also directly if they understand the meaning of the words. Here are some possibilities to consider. These are great practice questions to get the meaning and usage as well, because as teachers, we do care about how students use a certain expression or term. The underlined part is what you can apply to any vocab lesson you're teaching and you can have a little discussion about their answers and simultaneously create a dialogue within the classroom which involves the students and the learning so they become you know energetic and engaged the other activity is word table put your students into groups and ask each group to draw the following table so on this table we got the word part of a speech meaning synonym example sentence and finally visual i just want to note that you didn't have to use all of them drop or even add any category as it serves your lesson then start giving students the words you want to review one after another and let them use this table as a reference to explain the meaning and here we're also tackling a little bit of a grammar and a little bit of art this is literally one of the easiest to do revision activities and it's very student-centered and encourages teamwork that's pretty much it which of these two activities you might probably try the question list or the word table let me know which one you'd prefer if you need more ESL worksheets, games, or even slides, feel free to visit my TBT store. I'll keep the link in the description. Thank you for being with me today. I'll see you next time.